I am here to share with you the things that I have finished in the last two months in terms of cross stitch. So this is kind of a floss tube esque video. And as I'm looking at this list, I do think I'm missing one thing, but I'll show that to you in my next TGIF video, which is very, very soon. I keep saying that, but I promise it's very, very soon. Um, let me grab one thing. So the first thing I finished is probably one of the proudest things I've ever finished. <laughs> and this is um, one of my goals from last year. I framed it myself. This is Farmhouse Christmas. And I've showed you in a previous video the finish, but I haven't showed you the FFO. So let me show you that. And I'm hoping that the glass isn't going to glare too much. It probably is. This frame is for from art frames, I think. I custom ordered it for exactly the size I want. It is not framed. It's not laced. I frame things my own way. <laughs> it involves painter's tape. Because what if I want to do something different with it later? What if it needs to be stretched? That's just my personal choice. Um, I'm wishy-washy like that. So anyway, without further ado, here it is. And look at that glare. Look at that glare. Lovely. Um, let me see. Let me turn this off for a second. Okay, here it is. Still glare, but this is Farmhouse Christmas. Ah, there you go. You can see it now. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, I got a reclaimed wood frame. It's it's awesome. It's awesome. And this hangs over my TV next to my all year round Christmas tree. I love it. I love it. This took me a while to stitch. It's on some linen that I hated. And it's stitched all in classic color works, all in the called four colors. I'm gonna sneeze. Yeah. I'm gonna sneeze. Finish number one, but that is not all. I have a lot of other stuff to show you, and I just realized I forgot something. The next thing I finished was um, from Bent Creek, the Snappers collection, and I finished December. And this was a whip. This was a whip, and I just finished it. Next was a new start to FFO, and that is Lizzie Kate Falala. This window is from uh, the Target Dollar Spot over the summer months. I ordered some sled, a sled, and it came with a couple other things, and I thought it was perfect. So there's that, and that is in the called for DMC and just on some Ada, fourteen count Ada. Next, I finished from Madame Chantilly. Let me find it. I know it's over there. Santa's Owl. And I didn't add the words to it, but here it is. This was a new start. I'll put that behind it and it'll help. This was a. That's the back. Oh my gosh. Okay, Santa's Owl. This is also on that same Ada that the Lizzie Kate was on. In the called for colors I didn't add the words I didn't think it needed it so there's that I did a couple of sleds from Foxwood crossings I think these are called sled buddies I did the snowman the Eskimo which I don't think they like to be called Eskimos anymore but correct me if I'm wrong uh, that's just what the pattern called it and the penguin so I wish I knew what they what they are what what the indigenous people of Alaska like to be called is I don't know uh, I should learn that um and those were all new start to FFO another new start to FFO is Country Cottage he's a flake this fabric was a bestitch me fabric of the month but I don't know which one it was I don't have the card here with me and here he is this is in the called for DMC I believe I'm pretty sure and this is a sled from the Target dollar spot like I was just talking about I was on the hunt for these forever um, and now I have a lot of them I have I think three or four more <laughs> for future finishes this was just a um, miniature ornament from where was it Walmart I filled in the hole with some hot glue and then I painted it so I like how that turned out 
Um, another new start to fully finish was our 2020 ornament. This is a very COVID Christmas from Beverly Street Shop on, you not YouTube, on Etsy. And I used Vonna Pfeiffer's finish for a snow globe. And here it is. The glare is pretty atrocious right now, but I thought I was pretty chuffed with myself. I thought I did a darn good job. <laughs> darn good. Darn tootin'. I stitched with my friend Terry. Oh, I just found the missing project. With my friend Terry, I stitched antique scissors and spools from Shakespeare's Peddler. This is on Scotsman. This is a Bistitch Me fabric of the month. I think it was October, maybe November, I'm not sure. Here it is. I just used white DMC. Love it. I really love it. Um, I finished two Mill Hills, if I can find them. One went under the sewing machine. First I finished, this is start to finish, was the Angel. I love Mill Hill kits, love them. And this was a whip that I had that had been languishing. This is the gecko. I finished that one. And those go on my all year round tree. I finished Country Cottage Needleworks Reindeer Games. I think this is Picture This Plus Wren. Don't quote me on that. On 16 count. And I did finish this before Christmas, but the finish I had in mind for it, um, the thing I had was too small for it, so next year and this is in the called for DMC now moving into 2021 I did finish a couple things the first thing is sweater weather from October house that I did change a couple of the colors to go with my fabric which is picture this plus Heartland here it is I'm gonna make this into a pillow for my dough bowl it's awesome. It's awesome. This is 16 count. Um, I finished Livy Kate Collect Moments. This is just a random piece of um, Ada that my friend uh, Kathy had sent me. So this is the pattern. And this is my finish. I used... This was my first foray into Selkie threads. I just used, you know, pulled some colors that I thought would look good, and there's that. And this will also be for my dough bowl. Yay! Um, next page. How much I finished. This is the one I thought was missing. This is Ruby Heart from Calico Confectionery on Etsy. And this fabric is this. And I just used a red sulky on this, one over two. And look at that. Won't you be my Valentine? Oh, I love it. This is a great pattern. It was a lot of fun. And a relatively quick stitch for me, who's a very slow stitcher, in my opinion. Um, I don't have it on here for some reason. But I did also, at the beginning of the month, finish January from Bent Creek Snappers. And finally, from Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher Winter 2020, I, on the same Scotsman fabric that the keys are on, not the keys, the scissors, I did the Etched, etch, etched Cardinal by Cecilia Turner. And for this, I also used the sulky threads and the ones that I thought would complement it. So it turned out exactly how I wanted it to. It is riddled with mistakes again, but you wouldn't know that if I didn't tell you that. So why do I tell you that? Anyway, that is what I finished in the last two months, cross-stitch-wise, and then the very beginning of 2021. I've been really into the cross-stitch, really feeling the cross-stitch, so that's what I've been doing. Um... That's all I have for you today. I hope you guys are doing really well. And until next time, I will talk to you then. No, I will talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye.